Hi, this is Bob Scott with NIMS and Associates. Today we're going to be talking about processing uh, prepayments and accounts receivable. The agenda that we'll be going through is prepayment configuration, what needs to be set up in Acumatica to properly process customer prepayments, what a prepayment transaction entry uh, looks like, what journal entries actually happen during the, the prepayment process, the effect of prepayments on AR reports, like aging reports, or outstanding balance by GL account, invoice data entry, and applying the invoice entry to the prepayment. To set up a prepayment process in Acumatica is simple and easy. Essentially, for customers, you make sure that there's a GL account in the prepayment account. If there's a prepayment account there, the transaction flow is when, when a prepayment happens, the initial debits and credits are a debit to cash and a credit to the prepayment account as defined on the customer, the GL tab. When the prepayment gets applied to an invoice, in addition to the normal journal entries created by the invoice, which would be debit to accounts receivable and credit to sales, you're going to get a reversal of this customer deposit. So the customer deposit account will be debited and accounts receivable will be credited. So the, the flow with these GL accounts is that customer deposit account gets hit on the prepayment entry. It gets relieved upon applying the prepayment to an invoice. Entering a prepayment. The process for entering a prepayment is first entering a cash receipt of a type of prepayment. When the actual customer invoice happens, you would process that normally in uh, Acumatic Accounts Receivable. However, at some point, and it could be done while you're entering the invoice in Acumatica, you apply the prepayment uh, to the invoice. Processing a customer prepayment. To process a customer prepayment, navigate to the finance accounts receivable module. Click on payments and applications. Instead of picking a type of payment called payment, select one called prepayment. Enter in your customer as normal, and then enter in the amount of the prepayment. There is no need at this point to apply or load up any documents with this. We're just merely recording the fact that there has been a prepayment. This will spawn a journal entry, a debit to cash, and a credit to the prepayment account. Once that's been posted, the transaction is, is properly reflected on the AR balance by GL account transaction as showing that there is a prepayment for that customer. Now this report has been filtered to only show one customer, but this is a very good report. The AR balance by GL account is a very good report for reconciling prepayments to accounts receivable as it's broken out by GL account. Prepayments account is 2210100 and the AR account is 1100. Remember when the prepayment is initially entered, it gets sent to the 22100 account. If we go back we can see all the transactions that make up the prepayment. This number should reconcile to the 22100 account in the general ledger. Processing customer invoices. To process a customer invoice that is going to be applied to a prepayment in the future, process the invoice as you normally would in Acumatica. Navigate to the invoice and memo screen. Enter the customer that you're going to be processing the invoice for. 
then simply enter it in as you normally would. Go ahead and release the transaction. The journal entry spawned from this transaction is, is the normal journal entry. This is a debit to accounts receivable and a credit to sales. Apply prepayment to the customer invoice. To apply the invoice to the prepayment, it can be done in two ways. One, you can start from the perspective of the prepayment, or you can apply it from the perspective of the invoice. In this case, I'm going to go to our invoice and accounts receivable that we just entered. And I am under the Actions tab. I'm going to click on Enter, Payment, Apply Memo. What I'm going to do here then is switch this to a prepayment. I'm going to select the prepayment that we had entered before, $7,000. And then I'm going to just choose to apply that prepayment when this prepayment application is released, it is going to relieve the prepayment account. You're gonna get a debit to the prepayment account and a credit to accounts receivable. Thank you for joining. To subscribe to our channel and user group, visit our YouTube channel. You can also visit our website and visit our library of videos. We have a LinkedIn user group, or you can contact me directly at 877-454-3200, extension 6346. Thanks.